Welcome back my favorite Python programmers to a brand new video and in this one again we're doing something just a little bit different from what I was doing before. We're going to look at a more professional way of accessing values in a Python dictionary. So again this is something that I've noticed whenever my students are accessing value from a dictionary they simply use the key name inside the square brackets. So right here we have a dictionary that is called user1 and as you can see a dictionary is defined by its squiggly brackets but not only that because this can also be a set. What defines a dictionary further is having these uh, sets, right? Not to be confused with the other set, these sets of key value names. So as you can see we have the key name we have a value of 20 for the name we have a key sorry I, I mean a key age with a value of 20 a key name with a value of Kalen and a key email these keys are all strings with another value that is a string that is the email so let's say the student always wants to access the name but I, what I tell them is what if you don't know what's the value inside of this dictionary or what if that key changes for some reason. Uh, what I meant previously is what if you don't know what's the value of the key or the actual key uh, string, how is it defined? Maybe you type, you think it's names instead of name. Like if you do this, what would happen if you're accessing values inside of the dictionary like this? In this situation, the name is present inside of the dictionary. So when I right click and I run, as you can see, I get Kalen, everything is good. If I try age, right click run I get age everything is good but what if for example let's say I don't know uh, instead of email I try to look for the phone number right of uh, user number one when I right click and I run uh oh I get an error and of course if we look closely uh, this is something that I always recommend to all the students never be afraid of an error never see an error and be like oh my god what am I gonna do Take a breath, your instructor is with you. Look at the key error, look at the error. It's a key error, it's the phone number. And you can even click on this little link that will take you to where that error is. So the issue here is that phone number is not available to us. And this can even happen for something like the name, which is available, but I don't know, somebody just commented out, uh, removed it from the dictionary for some reason. You right click and you run and you get an error. So. To mitigate this, instead of using the usual way, I'm going to comment this out and I'm going to simply copy the code that I have from here. So what we're doing in here is we're using the get method instead. And if I hover over this get method, as you can see, we fetch the document documentation and it says it returns the value for key if the key in the dictionary, else it's the default. So we have a default value and we, when we don't specify the default value, it's going to be the none. So right now the name is not available. As you can see, it's a, it has been commented out. When I right click and I run, I get none instead. And I avoided getting an error. And this is so important because as you progress throughout your Python programming career and throughout your coding journey, you'll notice that the less errors that you have, the less errors that pop up, the more efficient and smooth sailing your program goes. And this is something that's true whether you're a beginner, whether you're advanced, wherever you are in your journey. So using the get, very important, helps you avoid a lot of errors. And also a very nice thing is that you can add a default value. So no name available. As you can see, when I right click and I run, now it says no name available. And this helps us so much because if you see this, the user knows, oh, there was no name available to us. Not only that, but you can also call functions from here. In case this doesn't work, you can do so many other things. You can append your dictionary if the name is not available. There are so, so many things that you can do using the get. So the next time you're operating with dictionaries, make sure to use the get instead of the square brackets to access values of keys in your dictionary. 
If you don't know, I have a teaching institute, a 2M Python teaching institute, where I teach students from complete beginners to absolute masters. We do this through private tutoring with expert instructors, sometime with me, depends. Also throughout through courses and a huge masterclass that is over 30 hours full of in-depth in-depth explanation going into python understanding everything with very advanced projects and exercises that you can check out so if you like this video make sure to leave a like if you have any questions leave them in the comments below if you have any suggestions for a code that you want me to explain you can always also contact me on my email oh and i have a lot of new platforms where i'm posting i'll leave them everywhere around here so you can follow me for more tips like these and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.